Can you tell how small that thing is? This is gonna be a good episode for you guys. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, wait. Every time you see that. Every time this mother back. Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to another video. Thank you guys so much for the support. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. And uh, we got a juicy one today. I got my dad right juicy. here. Uh, my mom actually just dropped off my dad. She's got the old uh, Real Deal shirt on right there, just straight repping. Hashtag the Real Deal below. Hashtag bring dad back. We're about to have a killer challenge for you guys today. But as you guys can tell, we're outside of Walmart, wherever it's at. We're about to go inside, buy some baits, and then go catch some fish. Let's get it. Ooh, guys, we have the challenge. I came into Walmart right now not knowing what we were gonna do. So I was like, I'm gonna look around, figure out what we're gonna do. And I just ran across something that is the world's smallest swim bait. And that's no exaggeration. This is definitely the world's smallest swim bait. I mean, 100%. This is insane, people. I don't know if you guys can see that. Can you tell how small that thing is? I really don't know if it does the justice. Like, this is my pinky right here. Like, the bait is probably like, I mean, that, that's it compared to a toothpick. I mean, you can't, that is the smallest bait I've definitely ever seen. This is definitely the world's smallest swim bait. So we're gonna have to try this out. I don't even know how light this little jig head is in here. I have no idea how we're gonna throw it. I have a spinning rod and my dad does not have a spinning rod. That's the biggest problem. So he's saying he's gonna throw it on a bobber and jig it up on a bait caster. Like put it on a bobber. Which honestly it might work, so I guess we're gonna get that too, but we're gonna get a few packs of these. I got these little green ones right here. Then we got these little like trout colored ones. Got a little rainbow color. We got a few more packs, like they have some that just have one in it and it has a little jig head. I might get a few of those packs just so we have more jig heads just in case something goes wrong. And we do need to find some more jig heads, that's for sure. Alright Daddy Van Dam, what you got man? I'm trying to figure out how to work the world's smallest swim bait on a bobber because I'm gonna try to swim it back to me. So the question is, what bobber will swim with this? <laughs> I have no idea. I don't think I've fished with a bobber since I was like five years old. I don't know, Who's man. Eight? My voice just cracks so <laughs> What swims the best? That's uh. Plus I want a little weight kinda... so I can cast it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I know a decent bit about fishing, but I tell you, you're out of my element right now with the bobbers. I'm gonna go with the old tried and true just plastic bobber. That ain't it. That's a glow bobber, man. Do they even make like standard plastic bobbers anymore? I swear, like, oh, they're right here. <laughs> I was about to say, like, there ain't no way they're just gone. A dollar eighty-six can get you started today. Do you want to get the red ones or do you want those? One orange got me a little split shot. I'm gonna put this down by the jig head so I can make sure it actually sinks. I don't know. I do a bunch of like videos and stuff. Uh, he just likes coming to Walmart every day. Every <laughs> <laughs> okay, thirty. $30 on a micro swim bait? Stupid. <laughs> Walmart needs to sponsor me. <laughs> you ask? You, you need to go and you need ask. To ask. You need to ask the big guy. Yeah, the big Come guy. Come sponsor me. <laughs> Thank you. Have a, Have a good day, ma'am. All right, babe. This is about to get crazy. It's going to be one of the craziest videos on the internet right now just because. I promise you, you haven't seen anybody fish with a bait this small. Like I have no, I've, when I laid eyes on that thing, I didn't even know if I was looking at an actual bait. I'm telling you guys, this thing is crazy. I don't even know how we're gonna rig it. It's gonna be a mystery, baby. All right, everyone, just made it out to the pond. We got our juicy little baby, world's smallest swim baits right here. And this, that's a fact. Just unreal how small these things are. Cannot believe it, but we're about to tie these on. We have some four pound fluorocarbon right here. We just got the cheapest stuff they have. I do not recommend buying this stuff, but we're just like, screw it, we're gonna buy this. I'm gonna rig up one rod with my spinning rod just straight up to the little swim bait. I'm gonna see how it casts because that's 164th ounce bait, which is, I've never even thrown anything that small before. And then I'm actually gonna rig one up with a bobber like my dad's doing and seeing if we could do something with that. I don't know, it's gonna be, it's gonna be weird. is the baby i mean look compare that to my finger that is definitely the world's smallest swim bait if i've ever seen one before we're about to go out there and try to catch some on these things what you got say we're gonna win this is the first cast i don't even know if i'm gonna be able to cast it this is i swear the baits just keep getting lighter and lighter every challenge 
This is gonna be able to cast to that bob right there by there. Oh, honestly, I mean, he cast it kind of good. Oh my god, dude, he slammed it that quick. <laughs> Just like that baby first cast. Oh my gosh, this is insane. Look at that. On the world's smallest swim bait. Right there. Right in the top of his mouth. This is gonna be crazy. Gosh, this is gonna be fun. There's one right there. Every time this mother back Second fish, second cast on the world's smallest swim bait. This is gonna be a good episode for you guys. Oh gosh, man. This is gonna be, this is gonna be a, a fest right here. I can tell you guys that already. It's gonna be hard to get the bass what out when it the brim like, tearing it up. Like three casts, three casts, three fish. I mean, that's as good as you can get. I'm having a hard time casting. Where's my dad's first fish right there? Little beautiful bluegill. Man, you should have brought some gloves. If you guys didn't know, my dad's allergic to fish. So this is gonna be, I'm just gonna be taking fish all the whole time. Such a beautiful fish like that. You know, you just don't get to, I don't get to do this often. You know, I'm always fishing for bass and to know I can come out here and you know, catch some little sunfish like that is it's just awesome. Let's get a release on them. Little guy again, oh my gosh. Get him right in the top of the mouth. Pretty one. Dude, that thing's huge. That is a good, beautiful one right there. What are you doing, dude? <laughs> it's so small. There you go. Well, for 10 minutes of cussing, finally got a little <laughs> baby bass. This is so crazy. I've never fished anything this small. I can't believe the hook's actually getting them when they I eat it. I can't believe it. Well, a few of them, you know, they'll grab it and miss the hook. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of crazy. Come on. They just follow it in every single time. There's a lot of bass right here. Let's see if we can catch one. Oh my gosh, there's a whole school of them. And the small one eats it. <laughs> and the small one eats it out of all 10 of those fish. See if we can get back in there. See if we can catch a bigger one. I saw like 10 of them right there. It's crazy. There's another one, but not the big one. There's a big one right next to him, but he just decided not to eat it. And by big fish, I mean like a pound and a half. This is just such a fun challenge, guys. This is something crazy. If you guys have a Walmart near you that has these, I suggest you go try it without getting really mad. <laughs> <laughs> because it's really hard to cast I promise you that bait is just such a baby bait I catch the baby bass but you know it's something different it's sure fun to catch them oh my god yeah there we go baby there we go baby he's got to entice him to eat this thing they just come off every single time this looks so small little pretty baby guy right there on the world's smallest swim baits Oh my God, I got another one. Next cast. Literally, next flip in there, he eats it. He just saw his buddy get get screwed. And then next flip in there, he just chokes it. What in the world? They cannot resist this baby swim bait. Look at that thing. That is just unbelievable. Oh, I see him. Yeah. <laughs> you see him watch him gobble it up. Do they come off every single time? I'm not even kidding. I can't even tell you how many fish I've caught, but this is one of the most fun, but aggravating at the same time fishing challenges I've fished. I mean, they're small, but it's just, they're fun to catch. I mean, you can't beat it, especially on a bait that's literally that small. There's my dad's little bluegill catch. <laughs> what you thinking about this challenge so far, man? It's probably the most frustrating fishing I've ever done in my life because I don't have the equipment that it takes to do it right. Noah has smacked me around like a 12-year-old little schoolgirl. I don't know. All I've caught was a brim because I got this bobber on there. I think it scares the bass away. You've been smacking them, but you kind of, you're basically fly fishing. <laughs> All right. Look at that. 
You see him running up to it? Look at that. I mean, it's just... Do this every time. They, they come right off. Come Look right at off. it. It's tough. I mean, I don't know what else to say. Here we go. Uh-oh. Golly. Every time. You see that? We're fishing side by side. He's got a sight fish. I have a bobber. Nothing. I just can't make it happen. I don't know. It's it's weird. This is definitely some. It's cool though to watch a little bass attack a bait like that. It you is kind of cool because it's like there's so many right there. You see that one that's kind of big. The hook's another thing. The hook is just so majorly tiny, but the hook over issue has been a lot better than I thought. Like I'm actually getting a lot more bites that are are sticking. I didn't expect that from the start really. With having a hook this small. But the thing is, when the bass see this bait, or even the even the brim and the bluegill, they just they engulf it all the way. I, don't know, they, I can't cast without a bobber. I would, but I just been having to throw out a little deeper, and I'm catching the bluegill for some reason. You're catching those bass that are right on the edge. All right, everybody, I want to talk about these little swim baits for a second. These things, if you want to go have fun and go out there and just fish something different, like. I've just never seen anything this small and so unique. If you want to go catch like a multi-species like fishing challenge or whatever you want to do, definitely go check these things out. I just grabbed them from Walmart. The smallest bait I could really find there, the smallest swim bait ever. I highly doubt that anyone would ever fish with anything smaller than that. And it was a fun challenge, you know, it was different. I missed a lot of fish due to the hook just being so small. I did that on my old Fade Black and then on my Creed GT by 13 Fishing. I had 20 pound braid to a little four pound fluorocarbon leader. <laughs> that was my combo right there. The baby little jig head, 164 ounce jig head right there. Swim bait head. And that is gonna conclude this video, guys. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to pepper that like button. Be sure to leave a comment below on what fishing challenge you wanna see next. Also, be sure to hit that little red subscribe button and the bell next to that so it sends you post notifications. What do you have to say, man? I got my butt kicked. I'll catch you guys in the next video. I had fun hanging out with my son. I did get my butt kicked today, but I tried one thing, he tried the other. His ways worked and mine didn't, so that's what's good about changing up, I guess, in fishing. So go out, take a kid fishing. Have some fun. I got sky like the brother man, uh I crack cars in hella bands, uh I got a bra from the motherland, uh I got shooters with ass, uh I get it, get it, uh Anyway, uh Pull up skirt in the hurricane, uh I crack cars cook every day, uh I get money, uh Every day, uh